Hey, this is Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I have the pleasure to be joined by Chris Slade. It's great to be chatting this evening. How are you? And can you tell us, are you still playing those drums every day? I am. I uh, did a gig just a few days ago, actually. Yes. In, uh, in Britain. We play all over Timeline, which is my band, Chris Slade Timeline. Uh, play all over uh, Europe, actually, quite regularly, and and England, of course. Um, so uh, very pleased to be able to do that at my age. <laughs> and uh, the band is fantastic. And uh, you know, two or three of the guys are like thirty-five, so they're not like uh, my age. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, amazing. So uh, I'm pleased to be still doing it in a van. At my age. <laughs> well, it must like bring back memories of your early days starting off out in the van. and As Absolutely, yes. Uh, we were in Poland like a month ago. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. By van. By van. Yeah. It took us two days to get there and Cr to get back two days. Crikey. <laughs> so when you're out playing live, I mean, you have a fast catalogue to sort of like dip into do you mix it up at every show not every show but we mix in mix it uh quite often yes i don't like to tell people what the set list is going to be i like it to be a surprise you know yeah so, have you like thought of doing like a compilation album something like that of your live shows we've some of this album this latest album called timescape um, is a mixture of originals and cover versions. So that we do on stage. And in fact, uh, a lot of them were done on stage. A lot of the cover versions were done on stage, although they sound a lot better than that, because usually what you get is uh, recorded on the phone. You know, it just don't sound... Yeah. Half as good as the band does. Um, so they've been properly recorded, but they've been recorded uh, on on stage live. Great. So uh, I'm very pleased about that. That's amazing. Um, so we've got two CDs on Timescape. One is originals and one is covers. Can you tell us a little bit about the Chris Slade timeline and how the, the idea came up? Um, I wanted to have a band that could play. I, I didn't do it before because I, there were no musicians I knew that uh, could uh, play ACDC and say Tom Jones at the same, you know, on the same night. Yeah, uh, and I wanted to do ACDC and the rest of my career also um, and so I saw this band in a, in a pub or two of them in the pub uh, two or three of them in the uh, local pub and they were fantastic and I thought these guys can play the music I wanted to play and they, they could and they did. And uh, we've been together for the last 10 years. You know, it was, it was seeing the, the two guys, uh, the, and I found out later, the guitarist and keyboard player, uh, Mike and James, um, have been playing together since they were 11 years old. And they're 35 now. You know, they were very tight as a unit, the two of them. And that's how it started, like 10 years ago. The intention was to play music from out my career. That must have been a real shock for them to meet you, like ACD, former ACDC drummer and that. That must have been like, wow. Well, I don't know if it was that, but uh, we never talked about it. But... Um, uh, you know, they they were up for it, and we 
tried, we did some rehearsals, and it really worked, and it has really worked <laughs> all the time we've been together. I only took time out uh, in 15 and 16 when uh, I went back with ACDC. Right, right. Of course, and that was a massive tour that you went on with ACDC, wasn't it? Yes, uh, two years, all over the world, near enough. Yeah. West, Western world, anyway, including Australia. That's amazing. I mean, with the timeline, do you ever have special guest appearances from vocalists or anything like that? Uh, no, not really, to be honest, and... Uh, uh, we've had requests from people when we've gone to different countries. They've gone, oh, I can do ACDC. Uh, but as soon as they see us, because we have a different singer for ACDC, um, we have two singers, one for ACDC and one for other stuff. And uh, as soon as they... They don't go any further than soundtrack. As soon as they hear Bun singing ACDC, they don't request again to come and sing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true that's true I'm not just saying that um, and we're such a tight unit that uh, you know nobody really wants to get in between that to be honest uh -huh. people have requested before they've heard the band oh I can sing this you know can you ask him uh, to the promoter can you ask him if I can sing it tonight and it's like as soon as they hear a sound check they go whoop no thank you <laughs> they don't need me <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you've played over in the states with the timeline have has axel rose ever no, hit you? I, no I, I haven't i hit you I haven't with with acdc but not with timeline not with timeline yeah i know with acdc i was just wondering with timeline has or if, if axel rose would ever hit you up <laughs> no you know uh, axel's the sort of person who would do that sort of thing? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, believe it or not, uh, he's actually a nice guy. <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah, I've always thought that, uh, actually. Misunderstood. Yes. Uh, well, I don't know about in the past, you know, what he got up to or whatever. I, and I don't care about that. But um, as far as I'm concerned, he's a nice guy now, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's the sort of thing... <laughs> he'd be silly enough to do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So you've not got over to the States then with the timeline. Is there plans to do that or? Sorry, you have to say that again. Sorry. So you've not gotten over to the States with the timeline. You toured like Europe. Would there be plans yep. to try and take it over there, do you think? I would love to. I think Canada might be easier for visas and things. Right, right. You know, I've got a, I, I've got a green card, but the guys don't. Okay. Um, so I go to visit for business and stuff, and uh, uh, I also lived there for a while. Um, but uh, the bands can't do that. So uh, uh, Canada would be much easier to get to. Mm -hmm. So we're working on that, actually. Yeah. I know somebody, I know an agent out there that, um, that uh, might do that, might be able to do that. That'd be amazing. So yeah, what... it would, it would. My, my son, one of my sons lives in uh, Calgary in Canada. Right. And he's a drummer. My Both my sons are drummers. Are they? So, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's surprising me. <laughs> I told them, don't be a drummer, don't be a drummer. You know, play keyboard or guitar as well as drums if you want to play drums. But, and uh, no, they were drummers. <laughs> I did warn them. Yeah. So what can we expect from the album? When does it get released? I don't expect anything. I'd love people to hear it and buy it. And uh, I would hope it would get us uh, more shows as an original band, you know? Yeah. Because some people say, oh, you know, before they book us, they think, oh, it's a tribute band, you know? Mm. Nobody wears shorts. <laughs> Nobody. 
Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's not a tribute band. We do play ACDC music, mm-hmm. um, but we put some twists on some of it. Mm-hmm. Um, on some of it. And, uh, and some we just keep as people love it, you know? Yeah. Okay. So um, it's 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 up in the air all that. Okay. So going on to ACDC then, what would you say is your favourite ACDC song ever? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Sin City, maybe something like that. Cool. Going back in the day, did you know Bon Scott? No, I met him once when we were both drunk. <laughs> <laughs> In a late night club in uh, in Camden. Okay. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, um, and uh, he was drunk and I was drunk, so you know we said hello. We knew each other was. Uh, I was I was good. To, I'm glad I'm able to say, um, you know that I met him. Yeah. At least met him. You know. We didn't have any deep and meaningful conversations. <laughs> but this, uh, this was before, of course, obviously. Um, Brian came into the band. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. So if you got the call tomorrow, would you go back to ACDC and rejoin the guys? Yeah, I would. They're good guys, you know? Yeah. See, Angus is still donning in the school uniform. <laughs> sure what? Sure he's still, what? He's Angus is... Still in the school uniform. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They, they used to, uh, him and Malcolm used to argue years ago when they started. And uh, Malcolm would say, you know, get up there, you stuff, kid, you know, because he was older, you know. And he said, well, you wear the stupid uniform. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that <laughs> <laughs> and of course I mean in your career you've played in front of millions and millions of people but is there like a standout show you've played with ACDC you have to say that again too I'm sorry. sorry it's okay of course with ACDC you've toured the world you've played in front of millions and millions of people yeah. But looking back on your career, is there an actual standout show that's like the most memorable for you? Uh, I think Donatum was one, with the uh-huh. um, And Russia. Because right. that was to a mi- over a million people. Wow. What ca- they just went over the hierarchy. We were on a... We were on a... Um, uh, 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 an aircraft, uh, what's it? Um, it was on an, an unused, um, huge site, and the crowd just went over the horizon <laughs> from the stage, and there were speakers all the way along, you know, and phased so it would send the sound to the correct time. And uh, it was a good concert. And uh, that was memorable because so many people uh, in this airfield, in this disused airfield. What used to go through your mind then when you were like stepping out onto the stage and there's like a throng like that? That must have been insane. Do your job. (laughs) <laughs> right. uh, it's as simple as that. Um, that's before. Concentrate on that. Yeah. Look around the audience a bit. But your job is playing drums, so that's what you've got to concentrate on. Yeah. Um, and if you don't, you're dead. <laughs> um, you know, it's just. Uh, if you put somebody in there, say, that hasn't ever played in front of a big crowd, uh, they will freeze. There's mm. no doubt about that. I've seen it. Yeah. Um, 
you know, at 19 years old, I was playing Mount Square Gardens with Tom Jones mm -hmm. for a week. For a week, and wow. it built up. You know, it did build up um, from doing clubs and pubs in South Wales to within like three, four years, Mount Square Gardens, you know, and yeah. many others as well. Like, uh, you know, 30,000, and back in those days, don't forget, yeah. 30,000 people. With ACDC now, it's 80,000 every single night. 80,000 plus. It's amazing. It yeah, because really people say to me, you know, uh, you're a drummer, what, what, do you, what have you done? Well, it, I don't get into that conversation very easily because I know what's coming. Mm. But if somebody gets through to uh, find out I'm a drummer and they, you know, they don't know and they're not fans or whatever, mm. um, it's, uh, well, it's just, you know, they, they, oh. So I'll have to start again. You're recording this, aren't you? Yeah, it's oh. fine. I'm edit it. I can edit it all down and everything. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Um, question again, sorry. Right, so it was like, we were talking about playing live and everything, and when you go out on stage and do you get nerves, and you were saying about you're a drummer, and when people ask you, what you, what have you done in your life? Oh yeah, they're about ACDC. Yeah. yeah. And they say, oh, that was that band from the 80s. Like taxi drivers and people like that. Yeah. I go, no, you won't believe it. They're bigger now than they've ever been. Absolutely, yeah. 80,000, 100,000 people is nothing to them. No, it's really not. And what I love to see is um, I work in a shop and sometimes people coming in wearing in ACDC shirts and that. And they're like 13, 14, 15, 16. And so ACDC has just gone and still continues to have fans as young as that, which is amazing, isn't it? And that just shows how... Yeah, you know, I've been in a pub. Uh, this one was in London, I'm thinking of. Um, and it was full of ACDC shirts. Yeah. Like, probably at least a hundred. <laughs> and I was sitting there drinking and nobody knew who I was. <laughs> that was my next question. Yeah, they didn't know who you were. <laughs> Oh well. And I didn't. I didn't stand up and scream. Hey, I'm the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. <laughs> it was. It was really funny. And I, I passed people in the street, and they wear an ACDC shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, boys and girls, men and women. Yeah. And they've no idea who I am. You know. <laughs> I, I know I'm a bit older, but, I, you know, the bald head is the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit like... Um, I, I find it funny. I really find it funny. <laughs> I, have a, I have a little laugh every time that happens, and it happens <laughs> almost every day. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Okay, then. So, if there was a time machine and you could step into it and go back to any decade, which one would you go back to and why? That's very difficult. Yeah. With, with Earth Band. Right, sorry, what was that? I lost you then. What did you say? Sorry. You still there? Hey, I have the pleasure to be joined by. It cut off. What is it with this interview? He's still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what's it's going me, on. I think I said about me and technology. Ah, oh, no worries. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I've forgotten what I was now. So yeah, if you were, if there was a time machine, you could oh, step uh, back decade, into the decade. Yeah. yeah. Um, I this album, by the way, is called Timescape. Yeah. Okay. And we sent it. We sent it to you today. You might get it by Wednesday. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate You're welcome. that. I wish you'd had it now because you could have asked me some questions about it. Exactly. It, you know? I know. I um, know. So, if you got any other questions about the album, please call me. I will I do. Don't mind at all. 
Definitely. Um, uh, if you might, I was talking about Earthband, going back to the 70s. Yeah. Because I was writing in Earthband and uh, helping to produce and helping to write and helping to... Uh, I, like, I was writing lyrics, that's all, then. Um, and it was very creative. So I would say, hey, why don't you put some thunder on that? And they go, yeah, good idea. And we put thunder on it, you know. And we all chipped in like that. Um, Manfred took the ultimate uh, hit for that. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, it was all, the whole band. We used to, because there were no automatic mixing desks in those days. Mm -hmm. Uh, you had to do it all by hand, and it, we used to have 30 channels that had to be moved all at the same time, or at least worked on. So we used to give sections to each other, you know? Yeah. I'd be drums, and uh, Colin would be bass, and, uh, you know, Manfred would be keyboards, and it would just carry on like that, along with the engineer, of course. So it was a hands-on job doing the mixes mm. and these days they've got automatic faders you know yeah. as they call them yeah. uh, and it's fantastic it's, it's so easy these days yeah. uh, it's not easy to do something good but it's easy <laughs> to record yeah, absolutely you're not wrong there all right yeah. um well hopefully i'll get the album next couple of days then i'll i'll give it a listen maybe it's Give you a call next week to go we can go a little bit in depth. If you, into the only if you questions. want to. Yeah, you know? definitely, definitely. I don't mean you have to. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely. I would like to. Yeah, um, that'd be interesting. Um, if there was a made-up song about yourself, what would it be called? Uh, the old man in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Looking to the future, what would you yourself like to be remembered for in years to come? Oh, I don't know. I used to enjoy sailing. That's why I say the old man in the sea. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't know. Just uh, drumming and, uh, you know, being good at that. That's what I'd like to be, you know, that. Brilliant. Uh, uh,